Hello everyone. Today we will be explaining document 1 immunodeficiencies in chapter 8 disorders of the immune system in your Lebanese program for LS students. For the introduction, many diseases refer to as immunopathologies. Immunopathologies means diseases related to the immune system or disorders in the immune responses or immune cells are associated with situations where the immune system does not function properly. So in this case, we have disorders that affect the immune system, the immune components, and the immune response. In some cases, we observe a deficiency in any of the components of the immune system referred to as immunodeficiency. So the first type of immune disorders is the immunodeficiency, a lack in the immune responses and in the immune cells. These immunodeficiencies expose the individual to a greater risk of infection. In other cases, the immune system is itself a cause of the disease. It can attack the components of the body, that is, it is supposed to protect and cause tissue damage. It's the case of autoimmune diseases. So, the second type of immune pathology or immune disorder is the autoimmune diseases. The diseases caused by the attack of self components by the immune system. In other cases, the immune system can attack harmless elements of the environment, such as pollen, for example, causing allergy symptoms. So the third type of immune disorders is the hypersensitivities or allergies. In our chapter, we will be discussing only the immunodeficiencies and the autoimmune diseases. So here in this slide, as you can see in document A, in this document, we have bubble baby placed in a sterilized environment due to the presence of congenital immunodeficiency, immunodeficiency present since birth. So these babies should be placed in sterilized environment to protect them from any opportunistic infection. In this document, you see a patient with acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS caused by the HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. So here we talk about acquired immunodeficiency and not congenital immunodeficiency. In this photo, we have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, a, uh, an example uh, of autoimmune disease. And uh, here we have uh, two examples on allergies. For the immunodeficiencies, the problems to be solved are, what are the different causes of immunodeficiencies? and what are their characteristics. As definition, immunodeficiency is a deficiency of the immune system that results in an abnormal maturation or function of the cells and components of the immune system. So we have an abnormality in the maturation of B lymphocytes or T lymphocytes, for example, or an abnormality in the function of phagocytes, or uh, abnormalities in the complement, which uh, induces an immunodeficiency and which results in a loss of protection against pathogens. 
and results in repeated infections, which are sometimes fatal. So due to this immunodeficiency, we are faced to repetitive infections, loss of protection against pathogens. The immunodeficiencies comprise two classes, primary or congenital immunodeficiencies that are present since birth, and the second class is the secondary or acquired immunodeficiencies, which are acquired to, due to the exposure to some environmental factors, due to our lifestyle, for example, or due to uh, some treatments, some drugs, or the infection with uh, some viruses. In this video, we will be explaining the congenital immunodeficiencies, their causes and their characteristics. For the causes, immunodeficiencies or congenital immunodeficiencies are recessive genetic disorders. So they are genetic diseases which are recessive. They are also due to congenital functional disorders of the immune cells and disruption of their interaction or the interaction between them. So we have malfunctioning of the immune cells and uh, immune components which uh, may uh, perturbate the interaction between the immune cells. Also, congenital immunodeficiencies may be due to metabolism disorders. So here, as you can see, the bubble babies placed in the sterilized environment, they are attacked with congenital immunodeficiencies or they suffer from immunodeficiencies which are congenital present since birth. What are the characteristics of congenital immunodeficiencies? They are rare and diverse with respect to both clinical signs and mechanisms. Why are they diverse? Since we have a diversity uh, in uh, the immune cells and immune mechanism, so uh, that's why the congenital immunodeficiencies are diverse. They manifest, they appear as an increased tendency to infections, increased susceptibility to infections, and in the absence of any treatment, they may also be associated with an increased risk of autoimmune diseases or even tumors or cancers. So the congenital immunodeficiencies, they may be associated with autoimmune diseases and cancers. The congenital immunodeficiencies are mainly diagnosed in childhood since they are congenital present since birth. Here we have a table showing the different types of immunodeficiencies, the biological anomalies associated to these immunodeficiencies and the most frequent infectious consequences. We can have innate immunity deficiency. Innate means deficiency mainly in phagocytes, in phagocytosis. So as a consequence, we have susceptibility to bacterial and viral infections, both bacterial and viral infections, since the phagocytosis is not specific for uh, the antigen or for the pathogen. So uh, when we have a lack in phagocytosis or in phagocytes, macrophages, and neutrophils, we may have abnormality in eliminating uh, uh, extracellular and intracellular pathogens. In some cases, we have complement deficiency. As you know, complement is a set of uh, plasma proteins uh, that uh, form a membrane attack complex, which is very efficient very powerful in eliminating and destroying uh, immune complexes and pathogens. So when we have uh, abnormality in the complement, we may have a deficiency in the elimination of immune complexes and in the destruction of pathogens. 
So here we have also susceptibility to bacterial and viral infection since the complement is not specific for the pathogen. In other cases, we may have B lymphocyte deficiency. So here we can have absence of some or all classes of immunoglobulins since B lymphocytes present on their surface uh, immunoglobulins. Each type of B lymphocyte has a, a certain type of immunoglobulin and it produces a certain type of immunoglobulin. In the absence of B lymphocyte or in uh, the presence of immature or abnormal B lymphocytes, we may have a lag in the humoral immunity. Thus, we have infections with extracellular bacteria and sometimes viruses since antibodies can neutralize toxins, can neutralize uh, uh, microbes, even the viruses before entering the host cell. In the case of T lymphocytes deficiency, here uh, the case is much more serious since in this case we have deficiency in T helper and also in cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So we have absence of both cellular and humoral immune responses since uh, the T helper uh, activate not only the cellular immune response but also the humoral immune response triggered by B lymphocytes and in this case we have serious and repeated bacterial and viral infections that can lead to death since both cellular and the humoral immunities are disrupted or are abnormal. So uh, this table summarizes the types of immunodeficiencies and their consequences. And when you see an exclamatory mark, this means that this uh, slide is to uh, study and to memorize. What could be the treatments uh, of the congenital immunodeficiencies? If we have a, an antibody deficiency, so we can inject antibodies. If we have cytokines or interleukins problems, we may inject uh, cytokines. But in most cases, the therapy uh, is based on bone marrow transplantation or thymus transplantation. So this video uh, explains the causes and the characteristics as well as the treatments of the congenital immunodeficiencies. In the next video, we will be explaining the acquired immunodeficiencies. Thanks for listening.